Thanks for coming out tonight. And then at the end, he stayed around, he signed autographs for people, and he just was so genuinely touched that everybody came out. And there was over 900 people that came out to that concert. And it's a night I'll never forget. There's just something about a small town community um, like Duval where when people are in need, they're there. They, they respond, whether they're firefighters or what. And, and that's probably one of the greatest things for me uh, since I moved out into this area was that uh, the, the sense of family. It's really true. I mean, I've really grown to enjoy the community and I have so many good friends and uh, there's not much more you could ask for. I've never been a part of a community like this where I've known so many people, so many helpful people and generous people that it's really mind-boggling. About a year and a half after I moved here, the house I lived in burned in, burned down to the ground. 20 minutes after the fire trucks left, there were people I didn't even know that came down with food and clothing and uh, offered places to stay. You know, it was, it was the community just had an outpouring. But you know, the whole world has grown out of small towns, really, when you think about it. As I'm driving through, I see people walking on the street that I know, and hey, I know them from the gym, I know them from CeCe's Coffee, and it's just nice to come to your own little special place where you feel that it's a close community and, and it, you don't get lost in the crowd here. And it's really what makes Duval such a unique place is the, is the spirit of how that has transformed itself over time, but we have not lost who we are as a community. The spirit of the place is just uh, what really has kept me here. I have never wanted to live any place else. I've done a lot of traveling. I've never seen a place that I like better. I think Duval is the best. And it's a good life. There's good community. It seems like an odd group of people somehow all ended up together in a small community. There were people who came out here because they wanted to be in the woods and they wanted to live the rough, rugged, rural lifestyle. There were people who were out here because they wanted to farm or they wanted to have milk cows. And uh, there were people here because they wanted to buy an inexpensive home and uh, real estate property, pretty property. There were people who came out because they wanted to get out of the city. These were all different people, but they came together in this small space and somehow became a pretty amazing community of people that grew close together and really made Duval an amazingly unique place.
Happy 100th birthday, Duval. Good going. Happy 100th, Duval. Peace. Happy 100th, Duval. Happy 100th, Duval. There you go, Larry. That was much better. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Happy 100th, Duval. Happy 100th, Duval. What is x squared plus 4x plus 4? Happy 100, Duval! Yeah! Happy 100, Duval! Happy 100, Duval! Yeah, it was a beautiful day. Keep looking at the camera, Larry. Don't look away. Yeah. Larry, look at the camera. Thank you. And wow, look at that camera. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hey, here's the plan. Uh, said GoPro will mount here, as you see, is the all-important duct tape. All the way up. In theory, the GoPro comes down with the piano and lives to tell the tale. That's the hope. That's the dream. It took him a long time, but anyway, you know, I I, I shouldn't tell people that. That's okay. <laughs> we won't use it. <laughs> All right, okay. you ready? I am ready. Okay. Keep going. I, I like this. <laughs> Appreciate your time. Well, I'm glad Great you do it. And if you know what, there's something else. I'd go another hour. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, it's, it's great to be here. Oh, this is wonderful, it's yeah. It's great to not be in jail, too. <laughs> Garlic toast. Yes, that uh, sounds lovely. The camera lives! Still ticking. Feliz cien años Duval. And that's pretty much the story. Yep, pretty good stuff, huh? <laughs>